Al, did you hear these comments from Draymond Green? Oh, boy. Draymond Green. Oh, boy. You know, Al, Just... Al uh, uh, already talked about Knicks fans. You know, Draymond Green went a little went a little in on Knicks fans a little bit, man. Let's, yeah, everyone, because um... everyone knows, man, whether yeah. it's – it doesn't matter who, yeah. okay? It does not matter to who. Whether it's Reggie Miller calling a TNT game. Yeah. Whether it's uh, Richard Jefferson talking about it on ESPN and making side comments, or, or now it's Draymond Green. They all know what they got to do, man. Just say the word Knicks, and we all come out. Yeah. In droves. Guns are blazing. Well, now, now, now let's hear this riveting discussion. We're meeting other minds, if you will, between Draymond Green and one Trey Young. This is from the uninterrupted live show at the film festival. Here's, here's uh, Draymond and Trey. And the reality is, I feel like where that all was birthed really was the series versus the Knicks, where everybody in New York Knicks fans are delusional. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. And family show there, Draymond. Family show. But just to give some context, he's talking about how uh, in Sultan NBA uh, New York, he's talking about uh, on Trey Young being a villain and where it all started. So let, let's just to give people some context. Family show. Family show. <laughs> And miserable. And I love New York, so don't ban me from your city. <laughs> but they're hard. They're, they're a hard fan yeah. base. You go in the garden, you hitting the shots, you bowing. Every timely shot you need to make, you make, you're making every play. And what I actually think now, and continuing to watch and continuing to pay attention to it, is you are very much so a showman. But yet that's been flipped and, again, talking agendas into being this villain. And I, I'll be the first to say it. Being, being a villain, is, it sucks. Like, it's no fun. When you, but, but when it's up against you, you either fold or you stand up to it. You, you go into it. And so I've stepped right into it. And people have... Now, made you out to be this villain. I, didn't, I don't dive into that. Like, I just, I kind of feed off the crowd. Like, if you were listening to the game in the 10 minutes left in the first quarter of game one, the whole arena was yelling, F Trey Young. Like, two minutes into the fuck game. Fuck Boston. They said, fuck me <laughs> yeah. too. Family That's show. what I'm saying. Family so it's show. like, yeah. what do you want me to do? Like, I'm just hooping. I'm playing. I ain't said nothing to the crowd. I ain't bowed. I ain't say as quiet as F in here. I ain't said none of that yet. Like, I just really played off of, played off of how they they they, I mean they guarded me and and how the fans reacted. Like I just, I come out playing, trying to win, trying to put on a show, and I mean if the fans want to get into it, like in the with the Boston thing, like. All right, and that's enough. Okay, and that's enough. Editor. So, all right, okay. let's dissect this piece by piece. Now, Dray Draymond came after us and said, you know, we are uh, delusional and, and uh, miserable, miserable, miserable. Mm. We got 1,500 people here in the chat, bro. We're not miserable. We are the greatest fans in the sport. I don't care who it is. I don't care Laker fans, Nuggets fan, Miami Heat. We are the greatest fans in the sport. Miserable, far from it. Delusional, absolutely. But that's part of the fandom. That's part of the fandom. How many people did we meet, Al, in Vegas in Summer League? Oh, geez. Living in Las Vegas, living on the West Coast. Yep. Came in there, donning their gear, Knicks hats, Knicks fan TV stuff too. All of that. Right? Why? Because they, they want to be tapped in. They want to come together with the community. We just had the super chat from, from uh, uh, Paul Collins, who was out there with us on the West Coast in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. My guy, OG Jimmy Walker, still tells me this, to this day how appreciative he was of, of hosting that meetup. So we're not miserable. We're very happy people. We're very loyal people. Delusional, yes, because we want to see our team back on top to the promised land. It's been 50-something years. And so, yeah, we want to see who's going to be the next star, who's going to be the next guy to take us to the promised land. Yeah, we're hungry, man. We're hungry. We're hungry. And it's that same hunger that a lot of these outlets tap into to trigger us for their reactions. They rely on us. To feed on their content. To digest their content. They rely on it. So we're not miserable. 
we're very much good people. Now, the whole Trey Young thing and, like, being a villain and this, that, and the third, I think there's, like, different categories of villains, right? There's villains, like, when you're just a killer. Jordan was a killer. Kobe was a killer. You know, Reggie was a Nick killer. Tim Hardaway, like, those were villains because of your talent. And in that playoff series, that series... I think that's what Trey Young, that villain character, was built up by the fans and the media, but because he killed us. Yeah. Game one. What'd he do? He left Taj and he, he, he shook Frank out of his shoes and, and scored the game winning point. From that point on, it was on. But, but that's, you don't get that in many other cities. That reaction. You don't get that. Yeah, it was it was vile. It was just in that we don't condone the people spitting on him and stuff like that. That was way over the top. They should have got their ass beat for that. But it's 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 a healthy respect for your game. You get what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Look, in that series, right, against the Knicks, he averaged twenty nine point two points, averaged close to ten assists per game, okay? Shot 44% from the field. Shot 34% from downtown. All right? Like, he, he was doing his thing against the Knicks. So, yeah, you're getting some anger. I think, it's a little, I think we overdo it at this point because he hasn't had much success in the playoffs outside of that time. <clears throat> I personally don't think he deserves all the F. Trey Young stuff. I don't think he's at that level where we got to give him that much attention. Yeah. But he did his thing. Um but there's a thing, CP, when it comes to being a villain in the NBA. And, and Draymond mentioned it was showmanship. Yeah, that's really what it is. It's showmanship. Okay? Yeah. He go, He's feeding off that energy. So if you want to feed off that energy from the opposing crowd, if you want to, you know, do the sh and all that stuff while putting on a good performance, you're going to be looked at as a villain. Yeah. Okay? You want to know what? Here, here's, the, here's the comparison. No one looks at Kawhi Leonard as a villain. You know what I mean? Right. He goes in there, does his job, stone cold, stoic face, leaves, goes back home. If you're going to play off the opposing energy, the opponent's fan base energy, while still performing well, you're going to be looked at as a villain. Same thing with Draymond, man. Yeah. Draymond does that so well. He, not, he may not be scoring at yeah. the level of these guys, but defensively facilitating all yeah. that other stuff, right? He plays off of yeah, it. Yeah. And but, if you're but also because it, you're gonna be viewed as that. But also because Draymond's a dirty player. I mean, let's face it, he's a dirtbag. Like that that also plays into his villain. <laughs> that, that was my second category of villain. You have the absolute dirtbag, and he, he falls into that. Great player, genius. I, I absolutely glue guy. Defensively, glue absolutely, guy, man. Absolutely. But he's you know, he'll also kick you in the nuts, he'll scratch your eyes out, he'll do anything to win. So that feeds into that, especially when he's on the road. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's your there's your annoying villains that don't really deserve shouldn't be vil that try to be villains yeah. aren't good at it. Dylan, Dylan Brooks, Brooks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's number three. The guys that just talk. We'll sell. We'll With see. With no game. Yeah. Right. 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 That that's it, man. That's it. So uh, so yeah, that that was uh, their soapbox and uh, their TED talk, if you will, on on being a villain. That was Draymond and our friend Trey Young.